all those people flocking to our city, that comes a need for heightened security. Several agencies are coming together to monitor everything from a joint command center that is right now up and running. 11 Alive's Nick Sturdivant took a tour of the center and he explains to us what they are doing to keep everyone safe. We are inside the Georgia World Congress Center at Super Bowl Experience. No doubt a fun time for fans here, but it's a joint effort with different law enforcement agencies that's keeping people safe. Welcome to the opening ceremonies of Super Bowl Experience. Saturday's festivities mark the beginning of what will be one of the biggest events Atlanta has hosted in nearly 20 years. We actually went to the Super Bowl Experience when it was hosted in Tampa, and it was amazing. So we didn't want to miss this opportunity to bring the little guy out. I don't think I've ever lived in a place that actually hosted the Super Bowl, and this is just an amazing experience. But in the midst of all of this fun, Atlanta police, along with local, state, and federal agencies are keeping an eye on things. We have about 40 different agencies working for us. Uh, so you'll see every asset from a patrol car to a horse to a motorcycle to a foot patrol. Dozens of agencies are working out of the Joint Operations Center inside the Atlanta Public Safety Center. We have what's called incident commanders. Those incident commanders are at 13 different locations throughout the city that specifically deal with a, a particular event that's going on related to the Super Bowl. Every morning at 9 a.m. we have a big briefing to talk about what they have for the next 24 hours, what they saw the previous 24 hours. Officers monitor everything from the roads, the stadium, the Georgia World Congress Center, and Centennial Park. You can tell there's a lot of security here and there's a lot of officers, which is great because Security is a huge issue in this day and age. There's a lot of security with the SEC, but this is a whole nother level. We understand that our number one priority in the city is fighting crime. And the Joint Operations Center will be open 24-7 through February 5th. In Atlanta, Nick Sturdivant, 11 Alive News. All right, Nick, thanks for the information.